Moses and the Burning Bush, Exodus chapter 3 to 4. Moses was looking after the flock of his father-in-law, Jethro. He led them to the far side of the wilderness to graze, by a mountain called Horeb. He watched the bush that had caught fire and noticed it did not burn up. So Moses decided to take a closer look. Suddenly God called to him from inside the burning bush. Moses, here I am, Lord, Moses replied. God told Moses to take off his shoes, for he was on holy ground. I am the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, God announced. At this Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look at God. God told Moses that he had seen the suffering of the Hebrew slaves. He was going to rescue them and lead them to a land of milk and honey, where they would be free. Go to Pharaoh and bring my people out of Egypt, God instructed. Moses started making excuses. Who am I to do this? God promised to be with Moses. He also promised that he would make a way for the Hebrews to come and worship him on this mountain. But if I go to the Hebrew leaders, who shall I say sent me? asked Moses. Tell them I am who I am has sent you. I am the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. My name is forever. God instructed Moses to go to the leaders of Israel with the message God was going to rescue them from slavery and lead them to the land he promised. Moses and the leaders were then to tell Pharaoh to let the Hebrews go and worship the Lord God in the wilderness. Moses still kept making excuses. But what if they won't listen to me, he said. God asked Moses what he held in his hand. A staff replied Moses. Throw it to the ground, said the Lord. When he threw his staff to the ground, it became a snake. Moses was scared and jumped away from it. Reach out your hand and take the snake by the tail, said the Lord. As Moses grabbed the snake's tail, it turned back into a staff. This sign will help them believe, said the Lord. Now, put your hand inside your cloak. Moses put his hand inside his cloak, but when he pulled it back out, it was white with a terrible skin disease called leprosy. Now, put your hand back in your cloak, God ordered. When Moses pulled his hand out of his cloak, a second time, his hand was healed. If the Hebrew leaders don't believe these two signs, then take some water from the Nile and pour it on the dry ground. I will make the water turn to blood, the Lord told Moses. But Moses still kept making excuses. I find it hard to speak well or very clearly. Who gave people their mouths, replied the Lord. I will help you speak and teach you what to say. But Moses still made excuses. Please send someone else to do this. God was angry with Moses. Your brother Aaron the Levite can speak well. He is on his way to meet you. He will be your spokesman. Take your staff in your hand so you will be able to perform miracles. So Moses returned to his father-in-law Jethro and ask permission to return to his people in Egypt. Go, I wish you well, replied Jethro. Aaron had already been told by God to travel to meet them. 
Moses put his wife and sons on donkeys ready for the journey. The Egyptians, who remembered what you did and wanted revenge, are now all dead, God reassured Moses. The two brothers met up at Mount Horeb, the mountain of God, and welcomed each other. Moses shared with Aaron all that God had told him. Then they all set off for Egypt to tell the Hebrew leaders that God had plans to rescue them. <laughs>